Did you know that not all the energy in electrical machines is used for work? Some of it gets lost in fascinating ways. Today, explore how. In the world of electrical engineering, every machine faces inherent energy losses during operation. These losses can be broadly categorized into types like magnetic, mechanical, copper losses, brush losses and stray losses. Our focus today zeroes in on magnetic losses, particularly hysteresis and eddy current losses which play a significant role in the efficiency of these machines. Dive deeper into these intriguing phenomena starting with hysteresis loss. Imagine constantly pushing a heavy door to close it only to find it swings back slightly every time. This is similar to hysteresis loss in electrical machines. In the heart of every electrical machine, such as motors and transformers, the core materials undergo a process called magnetization and demagnetization. As the electric current flows, it magnetizes the core. When the direction of current reverses, it demagnetizes. Picture this like pushing and pulling on a spring. The force applied doesn't directly translate to the movement of the spring. Similarly, the magnetic flux in the core doesn't precisely follow the magnetizing force. This lag creates a loop of energy that isn't fully recoverable, manifesting as hysteresis loss. Let's break down the formula for hysteresis loss. PB equals ETA times B max to the power of N times F times V. Here, ETA represents the Steinmetz hysteresis coefficient, which varies based on the material. B max is the maximum flux density. N is the Steinmetz exponent, highlighting material dependency ranging from 1.5 to 2.5. The symbol F stands for the frequency of magnetic reversals per second and V is the volume of the magnetic material. This loop of energy loss is critical in understanding the efficiency of electrical machines. Next, explore another type of magnetic loss, eddy current loss. Now, consider what happens when you stir a spoon in a cup of tea. The tea swirls around the spoon, right? Similar currents occur in electrical machines. Inside the core of these machines, as they operate in a changing magnetic field, a phenomenon unfolds. Eddy currents are generated, much like the swirling tea, except these currents flow through the metal of the motor core. These currents, although minute, can generate significant heat, leading to energy loss. To combat this, engineers use a clever trick, laminations. These are thin individual sheets of iron, each coated with an insulating lacquer. The design increases resistance and minimizes the area for current flow, significantly reducing eddy current losses. Let's break down the formula for eddy current loss. P equals Ke times B max squared times frequency, squared times material thickness, squared times volume. Here, Ke is the eddy current constant, B max represents the maximum flux density, F is the frequency of magnetic reversals, T is the material thickness, and V is the volume of the material. Understanding and minimizing eddy current loss is crucial for improving the efficiency of electrical machines. Today, you've uncovered the hidden intricacies of hysteresis and eddy current losses in electrical machines. Hysteresis loss emerges from the magnetization and demagnetization of the core, consuming energy in a cycle that's not entirely reversible. Eddy current loss, on the other hand, results from induced currents in the core, which we mitigate by using laminated cores. Grasping these concepts is crucial for anyone looking to innovate or optimize in the field of electrical engineering. Enjoy the journey into the core of electrical machines? Hit like, share and subscribe for more insights. Have questions or need clarification? Drop them in the comments below.